So, in my wondrous journeyings through stealing stuff from other places, oh, someone posted about sudo for Windows. So, Windows is getting sudo. So, you can type sudo command to elevate privileges on Windows now. Whereas most people on Linux are now moving away from sudo to do as, because do as is more secure than sudo, but Windows is barely catching up. More excited, let's see. I don't care. Way for to run. Sudo for Windows is a new way for users to run elevated commands directly from an unelevated console session. It is an ergonomic and familiar, familiar solution for users who want to elevate a command without having to first open a new elevated console. Yes, it's a familiar solution. It's been around for years, just not on Windows. You've had to go through that goofy dialog box to do it. We are excited to announce that we are open sourcing this project, working hard to add information about it. Let's see more details. Gsudo, which has a number of additional features and configuration options. Ooh, you mean the same thing that we've had for years on Linux again. This is where other operating systems are catching up with Linux on what it does, but a lot of Linux distros, I think, have a lot of people on Linux are starting to move to Duas, which is from the OpenBSD project, Open Duas, which you can install in, I think, most distros now. See, you've got open do as in your repositories for Arch repositories, so you could do that. And you can, a lot of programs for support either having sudo or do as for elevating privileges. But anyway, and in a lot of ways, oh, do as is simpler with its configuration. But anyway, so you can enable Windows on the Insider version for this one by enabling sudo, or you can enable it with this command in an elevated console. Look at that. It's so fancy. They have really cool command line, power line stuff that Linux has had for years now. See that? Sudo for Windows currently supports three different configuration options in a new window, input closed, or inline. So this is how we've done it for years. This is how Windows has done it for years. And this is the middle ground. So you can change the configuration option. I don't know why you need to do that. They force you to... That's one thing about it is they force you to go through the graphical configurators to change things, whether it be a registry entry or a setting for an admin purpose. You've got to go through the GUI and click like 10 million different things, whereas... I can go into any old configuration file, type out a line, and there's my configuration option to enable something. But, or you can type out this one and at, in an elevated console. Again, you've got to have an elevated console to do things. So, Sudo in Windows seems to work a bit differently than on Linux, if you're familiar with do as or sudo or things like that. <gasps> so uh, we'll open a new, ele so the new window option will open a new elevated console window and run the command in that window. So you separate it. I mean, I could technically do the same thing, but I don't have to invoke like sudo to do it so i can go do as foot and it doesn't like me for doing that i don't know whatever but you get the idea we could technically do it under linux anyway but we just don't because it's easier to not do that so you can have your netstat command running like in a different window so like right here Boom, sudo netstat, and then it runs netstat right there. Why you would do that is beyond me. And it, let's see, input close. Sudo for Windows will run the elevated process in the current window, but the new process will be spawned with its standard in closed. Means that the new process will not accept any user input, so this configuration will not work for processes that require further user input after elevation. 
So if you're running a script, it works for that. As long as it doesn't ask for any more input. Let's see, behavior of pseudo on a blah, 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 with a standard in, standard out, and standard error, all connected to the current window. So notice that Windows has also had to move to like a lot of things we may be familiar with on a Linux command line. And this is where, well, no, let's keep going on. This means the new elevated process can take input and route output to current window, which is really nice. I mean, like, even up here, actually, you can see that even though I've got an alias, it's basically doing do as Pac-Man. Well, no. So if I go to my... So it's... right. So the P... It, it's complicated. It's rather complicated. It's more complicated than it deserves to be, but... So you can see I've got P as pseudo Pac-Man color always, alias. And then if I go up here, I've since sudoed, or aliased sudo is do as. So it's running do as Pac-Man color always. So I always have the nice color output. And then, yeah, and then I forgot that I have some of these here. But anyway, um, yeah. So it... Uh, the, it's how we're used to doing things anyway, for the most part, is doing things in the same window. I mean, I could even go do as SU, and then here I am. But anyway. So how does it work? Elevating process with sudo, a UAC dialog will appear asking the user to confirm the elevation. We're back to the UAC dialog thing, okay? This is not any more convenient than anything else was before, really. You've just added, like, what you've taken... Okay, you've taken one step out of it. But you're still required to interact with the UAC dialog box. Why? We don't need to do that. I literally can sit here, and if I had a fingerprints enabled... Read a fingerprint reader on this system and fingerprinting enabled in my PAM, I'm pretty sure I could authorize with sudo with my thumbprint. But we have to click a yes or no dialog box. Sudo exe will launch a new elevated console window, run the command in that window, new window will be launched with the same working directory as the current window. Cool, we don't change anything. Input closed and inline, launch a new elevated process, Blah, blah, blah. Here's a diagram of how the hierarchy works. So you don't get any like input from the user with the input closed and in line, but you're still, you're in the same window. So nothing happens really. Let's see. However, when sudo is configured in the input closed configuration, the elevated process will essentially not be passed past the console's input handle. So it will not be able to read input from the user. So it shuts off your keyboard to the process that it's running is all it does. It is important when running sudo in the inline or input close configuration to be aware of the security implications. It is possible that a medium integrity process can drive the elevated process. Risk is mitigated in the input closed configuration because the elevated process will not be able to read input from the user. Over the kind of blah, 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 expanding documentation for sudo for Windows. So, I mean, they take into account, we don't want you doing input during running this thing. And all the tech support scammers use the command line and netstat to convince people that their computer is hacked. And it does it suppose, does the program not accept input from the user? Or is it just that, does it either completely block user input while it's running? Or does it only block interacting with the program itself that's running under, under elevated privileges. That's the real question. So if you could like block out all input, then it makes a tech support scammer's job way harder because they can't pseudo whatever. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. And finally, this is where the joke a while ago of people talking about like Microsoft Linux really comes to fruition because you see Windows subsystem for Linux, which is basically virtualizing Linux 
on a Windows system. You've got sudo now on coming to Windows that is running. And now you've got sudo for Windows running. So how far are we from Linux really? And they've been trying to drop the Win32 API. So what's really under the hood in this closed source Windows? Is it a Unix kernel or what? If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description, Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.